and welcome to another Tech Tips video from Learn Electrics. We are often asked what the correct procedure is when replacing or upgrading lighting if there is no earth supplied at the original light fittings. In this short video we will answer that question by telling you what the wiring regulations say and what you can do to comply with the regulations and ultimately the electricity at work regulations. Any references we make to the wiring regulations are relevant to the blue 18th edition book. The conversation usually begins with something like, I went to a house last week and they wanted the old plastic ceiling roses replacing with nice fancy brass luminaires. But when I opened the ceiling rose, there was no earth to bond to the brass fittings. What can I do? If you have the blue 18th edition wiring regulations book handy, then go to page 58. If not, don't worry, I will read out the relevant parts. Regulation 411.3.1.1 tells us that for a luminaire, if there are no exposed conductive parts, then a CPC or earth is not required. However, if there are any exposed conductive parts, then a CPC is required. Prior to 1966, in other words, pre-14th edition, a CPC was not required in lighting circuits. Why was this? After the Second World War, there was a copper shortage. And there was also this fantastic new material called plastic. Everything was being made from plastic. Chairs, tables, light switches and luminaires. It was the wonder product of the 1950s. If a light fitting is made from plastic, there is no need for an earth to go to it. With the massive house building programme after the wartime blitzes, this would save tonnes of copper across the country. Let us look now at page 4 of the wiring regulations. In the introduction to BS 7671-2018 it states that existing installations that have been installed in accordance with earlier editions of the regulations may not comply with this edition in every respect. This does not necessarily mean that they are unsafe for continued use or require upgrading. The regulations are not retrospective. In other words, if the installation was installed correctly to an earlier version of the regulations and it is still working as intended as regards function and safety at the time it was installed, then there is no need to change anything or upgrade it to current standards. This is confirmed by regulation 411.3.1.1 on page 58. A circuit protective conductor shall be run to and terminated at each point in wiring and at each accessory except a lamp holder having no exposed conductive parts and suspended from such a point. So, if there is no earth or CPC supplied to the fitting and an all plastic fitting is being replaced like for like with a new all plastic fitting, then there is no need to supply an earth or CPC. Let us look now at the situation where we've been asked to replace a plastic fitting with a fancy new brass luminaire. On page 21 we will find regulation 132.16 which states No addition or alteration shall be made to an existing installation unless the rating and condition of any existing equipment is adequate for the altered circumstances and the earthing and bonding for the safety of the addition or alteration shall be adequate. Now we have to do something. We cannot just install the new brass luminaire without doing something to comply with the regulations. At Learn Electrics we suggest that there are two routes open to us. The first one is to install an insulated earth conductor or CPC as an extra to the existing wiring. This is often achievable to the ceiling roses 
and should be taken back to the earth bar in the consumer unit. The light switches, if changed to metallic types, can be more tricky, as it is often very difficult, if not impossible, to feed an earth through the tiny channel in the wall. The size of the insulated earth is not to matters, as it is not an integral part of the cable for the phase and neutral conductors, then the following applies. If the new earth conductor is mechanically protected throughout the whole route, under floorboards, through trunking, etc., then a cross-sectional area of 2.5 millimetres is suggested. If the new earth conductor is not mechanically protected in any part of its journey back to the consumer unit, for instance clipped to a wall or rail, then it should be 4 millimetres in cross-sectional area. The larger size makes it physically more robust against knocks and damage that might be caused by being exposed to mechanical impacts. The second option is to suggest rewiring the whole circuit in Twin and Earth Cable. And to be honest, if it has been there since 1966, then a rewire is on the cards anyway. A quick recap then. When you are asked to make additions or alterations to a lighting circuit with no CPC, then if you are replacing a plastic lamp holder or switch with another plastic one, there is no exposed conductive parts and the circuit is otherwise sound, then there is no requirement to install a CPC. But if the luminaire or light switch is metallic, that is, with exposed conductive parts, then a CPC is required. This requirement can be satisfied by providing a separate insulated earth conductor from the light fitting or switch back to the consumer unit. Alternatively, rewire the whole circuit using twin and earth cable. Hopefully, that has answered the most common questions on this subject and you have added more knowledge to your mental toolbox. Thank you for watching this video from Learn Electrics. This is just one of our videos on tech tips for electricians and help videos for householders. We publish videos every week and if you click on the subscribe button below then you will not miss our next video. Clicking subscribe also helps us as well. You can find us on this YouTube channel Learn Electrics and also on our Learn Electrics Facebook page. Thank you once more and we look forward to seeing you again very soon.